I am sitting by the ocean. My blue iguana taco and the king over here is burrito. But look at that view. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. What is these functions? Uh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, well, never mind. But I know it's a little early for anyone to get on. Why isn't it? Why isn't it working? There. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's just delayed. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. The Tyler Show. And oh, where the? Oh, there we go. What's up, guys? It's a little. I'm doing a little. Um, just a quick little live stream over here i just want to show you guys i am sitting by the ocean in the cafeteria it's pretty empty right now but i got some blue iguana um the taco and then also of course oh put it right on the taco some breakfast burritos oh my gosh this is this is amazing Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. 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 Oh my! God. I wasn't expecting anyone to be on right now. It's 8:41. Oh, by the way, the pool is—it's uh, starting to get full. People are—it's like back to what it used to be, and people are actually like starting to save chairs at 8:30 in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, just started following you from hanging out with JJ and AK. What are y'all's names? Are um. My name is Fane, and then Laura is the other person on Travel Spree. And then, so, will the will to travel, how much is the bolt? The bolt, it's $15 per person. So me and Laura paid $30. There, I heard there's like a thing between like, it's either one ride or two rides. So I'm not sure where to go see, but like we're, as of right now, we rode it one time and it's $30. It'll be in the vlog today. You guys see that's going to premiere at 11 o'clock watch the vlog like the vlog we're riding the vlog riding the boat in the vlog uh let's see good morning from arizona oh you're up early um so what i got in this burrito pretty much everything i got scrambled eggs and chicken sausage and then like all the toppings like the pico the lettuce the tomatoes um i didn't get any sour cream some salsa all that stuff like i just went ham the guy i went the guy asked, like, what do you want in it? And I said, everything. And he just said, everything? I was like, everything. Let's see. Okay, so, up at, okay. Little one's up at six. That makes sense. I'm up because I was editing the vlog all night um, since, like, 2 a.m. And then I just got done and uploaded, as you guys can see. So make sure you go watch it. Yes, Blue Iguana is clutch. I'm loving the channel. I actually subscribed a few days ago. Thank you, Traveling with Pat. I really appreciate that. Me and Laura both. Laura's sleeping off a late night out with JJ and Kyra and JoJo. So she might be up a little bit late. I think we might do like a C-Day brunch. I might go live then if JJ's not already going live there. But we'll see. I'm just up. I'm always up early. What type of cabin do we guys have? Or what do we have? We have a Cove Balcony cabin. Um... We wanted a balcony. It said a balcony on the website, but then we ended up getting a cove anyway. But it was cheaper, so I mean, what what are you gonna do? But no, I just I sat out there early this morning. I maybe I give I can send it to Laura. I sent it. I sat out there early this morning, and the sun was rising, and we were just like right on the water. It was just so nice. We were like actually cruising. Like when we were on an adventure of the seas, it was like barely moving because we we're only going around Nassau. But like we're actually like hauling, like honestly hauling ass. Like look, look at that. Like we're actually just really cruising right now. And there's just nothing. I love this. It's just nothing. You can see my Bucky um, it's pop socket. But yeah, there's literally just nothing out there. Oh, I, thought, I literally thought that reflection right there was something, but that's just a reflection. Fun fact, Laura actually saw a whale tail. She pointed it out to us, but Laura saw a whale tail on Adventure of the Seas out in the middle of the ocean. She's like, what's that? And we turn around, and it was a whale tail. I've never seen a whale, it's like in the ocean on a cruise. Oh my gosh, I have my Bucky shirt on too. What's your favorite days on a cruise, sea days or poor days? Um, That's a hard one. 
because I like sea days because you get to just do stuff, but then that means there's a lot of people already on the ship and it's just like a lot. So depending on where the port is, like if we go to Nassau or go to Freeport again, definitely stay on the ship for that because we get to do more, more stuff. Um, love, love the Cove Balcony, yes. You got pictures of the Cove Balcony? No, Brian, I don't have pictures of the Cove Balcony, but we did yesterday, we uploaded a video of a, like a tour walkthrough of a Cove Balcony if you want to see that. So make sure you go check that out on our channel. It's, I mean, it's like a minute, minute and a half long. So like, it's not, it's not gonna like um, strain you out. It's gonna be really quick. And you can pause it and see whatever the details and stuff like that. I just got a Snapchat from Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get on her in March. It will be my first cruise in over to do. Oh, it's so many people's first cruises. So many people. It's this, Wendy, you're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. Everyone's just like so happy to be finally be back on board. Uh, Vanessa, what did you say? You got retracted. But no, this is, we went to a show last night and it's just, just amazing. Excuse me while I take a bite. I'm kind of hungry. That's so good. I'm so sorry. Thanks for sharing so much. Yeah, if you have Wendy, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below, or on any of our videos or whatever that. And we try to answer like answer them for you um, while we're here, or maybe even after. But we try to get to them because there's a lot of stuff. Like everyone's new to this, and it was. I'm actually like happy that I. I got that preview day because I feel like I kind of know the ship a little bit more than like people yesterday, but. This, I'm sorry, this burrito is really good. Oh, we had pink. Um, you guys are gonna see in the vlog today that comes up, that goes live at 11. Griffin and Alyssa are in the house. This one is for Alyssa. I got a burrito. Just wanna let you know. I checked it out. It's warm. <laughs> um, but as you guys are gonna see in the vlog at 11, that's coming out. We went to Pig and Anchor last night. And that food, like I was kind of upset because I want to go to the main dining room because I like the main dining room, to be honest with you. But we went to the Pig and Anchor and that, that food was so good. I got two portions of the food. Me and Jojo got two portions. Like, and it's free. I'm looking at myself with the cameras over here. All right, let's see. Is the vlogging your full-time job? No, I wish. I'm a videographer slash content creator for like Coca-Cola and like 3M and stuff like that for the social channel. So that's my full-time job. So if you ever go to like the Coca-Cola Powerade or Sprite or Fanta, or whatever like that, the little content that you see on their chat, like their Instagram pages, not all the time, but I usually have a hand or like, it's, I can show you the working files on my computer. Let's say that. I've been watching all your videos and all the other crazy. Thank you, Wendy. I really appreciate that. We actually met a lot of people that's been uh, keeping up with us, and it's really surprising because we're such a small channel. Now that we hit 4,000, we're trying to get to 5,000. So hopefully we can hit 5,000 pretty soon because we will. Okay, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. So I get off even if in bad ports, I just don't, I just don't stay out long. Yeah, that's what we did in Freeport. We just got off, walked around a little bit, and then just got right back on. It's, I'm, I'm not looking forward to Nassau as much because we sailed from Nassau um, for Adventure of the Seas, but we might, if Senior Frogs is open, we're gonna go ham and go to Senior Frogs. Just, like, I gotta, I gotta give me a yard drink. I have to. Oh my God, this burrito is so good. Griff, if you're still on here, I pulled a, I, I pretty almost pulled a 24 hour to get the vlog up today, just saying. Travel with Pat, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. 
I mean, you are current in competition, but I'll allow it. <laughs> yo, bro. I mean, we didn't beat Para DJ, but shout out to them because they are grinding. But yeah, we pulled out. A, I mean, I didn't pull out a 24 hour, but I mean, I was up since 3 o'clock yesterday morning doing the thumbnails for the post. Vanessa. Oh my gosh, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I pulled. I was up at 3 a.m. yesterday doing the thumbnails for all the tour videos that we released, like back to back to back. And then I didn't get to sleep, so then we came to the cruise, and then we were filming, and then um, around two o'clock this morning, I woke back up and just straight up, like, just edited the whole vlog, and now it's going up at live in almost two hours. Yeah, at eleven o'clock. So that's my schedule right now. By the way, guys, Griff and Alyssa are in the house, so just wanna, may, probably Griff, maybe Alyssa. If Alyssa's not here, tell, Griff, tell her I said I got a burrito and it's not cold. Um, what am I looking forward to doing and seeing mostly on the ship? Um, there's a hibachi place that I think a lot of us vloggers are all gonna go do one day and like all go to dinner and like sit around the hibachi and stuff. So I wanna, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but we did the bolt already, but I'm looking forward to doing the bolt today or maybe even tomorrow when we're at sea because i want to ride it over the water because i think that'd be really cool to do. it's like like and it goes so fast the funny thing about the boat is um it goes so fast um and you like you go off and it takes off and you feel all the g-force like a regular roller coaster but then they have this boost button so when me and laura rode yesterday you guys are going to see in the vlog i'm kind of ruined it for you but i was full throttle and then you can go you go up a hill and you can push the boost and it just keep it just goes so much faster so i'm i'm looking forward to doing that again over the water on sea days and then going to um san juan because i've never been i've always wanted to go like San Juan is on my top list. So I can't wait to do that. Good morning, darling. Let's see. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm just gonna take another bite of this. What up, Positive Vibes? Um, no, it wasn't open at night, it was closed. We closed the boat around six o'clock, but that's also when we sailed away, so it might have been that. Um, but also, Wendy, I re if any you and like anyone else that comes on the ship, I recommend trying Shaq's Big Chicken, the best food we've had so far. Chabong was wasn't bad. We had it on like little tapas, but it's something about Shaq's Big Chicken, like. It was so good. I haven't had guys burgers yet, but I feel like I've had it already. So I want to try something new. Um, yes, there are a lot of people up. It seems like not like too many, but it, but the traditional people that get up and save seats by the pool and stuff like that, like at seven o'clock in the morning, they're up. There are people all around the pool. Um, but no, it's not that many people. Like a lot of people, I'm like, I guess, a lot of vloggers aren't up right now. Like I'm used, I usually get up like around five or six anyway. So it's just, that's me, but I don't see a lot. Of, like there's a decent amount of people up. Let's just say that. This come all for free cruises when, yes. So we were talking to Jared and Jordan and that they do do comp cruises if you play in the casino. And somehow we got a casino, I guess we got a casino room or something because we have like, I have to show it or something like that. It's, we have this like, they gave us this premiere pass and we all we have to do is like, we can go play in the casino and get free drinks the whole time. But we already have this, the cheers package, so it doesn't matter, but they gave it to us and other people didn't get it. So I don't know what the deal is. What's the best place to watch a football game? I would say, as right now, I would say um, Pig and Anchor. Cause we were there last night, pod, like Pods of I, we were there last night and they had TVs galore. And we were just like kind of just watching a whole thing. For some reason, they didn't have the Olympics on, but they just, it was just TVs galore. So I recommend there. And then, hello, hello. Two. Oh, wow. So I've never sailed in NCL. So it's kind of like we're like vice versa. But no, it's, 
I definitely like I wish we were doing a back to back because I feel like that's what we would need to get um, the full experience. How late was I up last night? Okay, so um, it was me, Kyle Pella, Laura, um, Aaron and Kyra, Jared and Jordan, Matt and Chelsea, and Alana. We we're all up at like 11, like last night. And we went to go see a show. And then I came back because I was really, really tired because I didn't sleep really that at all the day before. And then I woke up at two o'clock to edit the vlog that's coming out at 11. So I've been up since two o'clock this morning um, just cranking out content or just cranking out a piece of content. Oh, Indonesia, hello. How are you? What time is it there? Because no, it must be, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'll say three o'clock. Don't know time cha time changes. Ooh, Birmingham, Alabama. How would you rate your time overall currently? <sighs> I would say, I would say it's like a seven or eight. Um, compared to Adventure of the Seas, if Adventure was a 10, I would say this is about a seven. And the only reason that is, is because I wasn't quite ready to jump into like the cruise life again. I enjoyed the 30% capacity on adventure and it just felt like I can do anything I wanted and had no lines and I could have gotten all the food I wanted, ice cream was no lines, everything like that. And so now, because Carnival is at 70% capacity, there's a little bit more people. It's not too many people, but you can tell, definitely tell the difference and it, does, it definitely feels like a regular cruise. So it's um, so it's a little different. Like it's not. A, I wouldn't say it's bad. They finally have the air conditioner on because they didn't have it on for a while and it was really really hot. We boarded the ship, but no, it's. I would say it's about a seven. Just because like I like to have my space and when I'm ready to have like all these people. But I mean, I'll still come back on the ship. What is our schedule today? So some of the creators uh, are going to. I think we believe Sea Day Brunch if they get up early enough. So we might do that and then hang out by the pool, go right at the bolt. Um, yes, yes, Vanessa. I got spoiled on Adventure of Seas, like straight up. 30% capacity was amazing. Um, but then we might go right at the bolt, see a couple shows. I don't, we don't have like a, like a strict schedule today. Um, me and Laura are thinking about doing like a, like a ship tour, but I'm not sure if we're gonna do that anymore. Cause then, cause I mean, everyone else, everyone else is doing that and it's just become saturated. But I just really just want to go have fun. So we might just go have some drinks by the pool and hang out and stuff. But obviously we'll make it entertaining because we're going to have fun. But the Alchemy Bar, oh my gosh. I never had a drink at the Alchemy Bar before. And we had this cucumber drink and it was the best thing I've ever had in my life. Like I thought I've had, like I've lived and I haven't lived. I found, I found out I haven't lived since last night. <laughs> It was so good. It was like a uh, cucumber splash or something. I don't know. It was just so good. I gotta go back. That's like my place. I thought I had a good drink, but like that's my place. And then Goombay Smash on Royal Caribbean. Um, yes, I think I might need a nap, but usually when I get up, I'm up and like one day a month, I just have like this day where I just crash and like I just like, just go to sleep all day, to sleep all day. But I'm good right now. I'll be up for like the rest of the day. Oh, Vanessa, I don't need to get footage. I got footage in the vlog coming out today at 11. We got, we, um, of course I got the footage of that. But even Laura was like, this is amazing. And then we got Jojo to try like, I think that's my place. Like, Goombay Smash is my jam. I guess on Royal Caribbean, but like, on Carnival? Look at me, like, <clears throat> I want to put money on it that everyone will like it. If you like cucumber, if you can stand cucumber or eat it, you're gonna love this drink. And it's, it's heavy handed pour, but you don't taste the alcohol. So I got a little tipsy last night, and I don't get tipsy because I'm having really high tolerance. Not bragging, but I'm just saying, it kind of put me in a good mood, <laughs> let's say that. So I recommend it. Some water size today with less kiddos on the ship. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's what it is. Me and Kyra, we're talking about we want to go to the water park. 
Um, so we might do that today because they have like the whole like bucket and and like the the water slides and all that type of stuff. And yes, you made a good point because um, there's no kids, on, hardly any kids on the ship. That's like below 12. We might hit that up. So that thank you for thank you for letting me know that we're probably gonna hit up the water slides. But so far. Because this, since this is the first sailing, I really haven't noticed anything different from an, another cruise. Like there hasn't been like any special celebrations really or anything like that. So, yeah. All right, so, what would you like to see? Like, I don't know if I can make a detailed video but I mean, I can do like a walkthrough like we did for um, the cabins. If you like, I can do a walkthrough tour and now that hopefully that'll be fine of the water park. Like I can like, like walk through and do all that stuff, so. Just let me know and I can upload, I can do an upload for that. Like a real quick upload, be like a minute or a half. Okay, yeah, I can do that for you. I didn't even think about doing that, but I can do that. What's up, Steve? I already got my drink, but it's only soda, so See, the bars aren't open yet. But I got my drink ready. Oh, also, Steve, you missed it, but um, there's a drink that you need to try that you will absolutely love. When you guys sail, um, this is for everyone. When you guys sail, what is your favorite place to go to breakfast? Would you do you guys like do the dining room breakfast or um, the buffet or like specialty or anything? Else? No, let me know in the comments down below. All right, see you later, Wendy. So Steve, in the vlog, me and Laura went to um, the Alchemy Bar and. And it's not like really only in Carnival, but they make like specially handmade crafted drinks. And we had this cucumber splash drink with vodka. Amazing. You have to try it. Um, let's see, Patrick. Let's see. I don't know. Right now, yes, I'm gonna say the Carnival has better drinks. We had um, a Bahama Mama, amazing. We had the cucumber drink I'm talk keep talking about, amazing. We had shots last night, they were still kind of bad. Um, hopefully we can get someone to make a really good shot for us one day, but I'm not saying right now, I would say Carnival has better drinks, better, they have better bartenders, I guess. I don't know, I mean, Royal has good bartenders too. If you wanna see some good drinks, check out Griffin and Alyssa's channel. They did a whole thing on our adventure about like the, all the different specialty drinks and stuff like that. Make sure you go check that out. Cause they didn't like, they did a whole detailed thing. Oh, I can't, where's the camera? <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, okay. So dining room breakfast, dining room breakfast. Yes, we're gonna, we have to try, we have to do that. We keep forgetting about it or like we wake up too late. So we're definitely gonna try the dining room breakfast um, sometime, hopefully today for the, the sea day brunch, but we'll see. But one of these days we're gonna do that. If he sleeps until six, I'm super lucky. Wow, I'm sorry, Allie. I guess I'm mean, at the same time. I was kind of that kid because I always woke up super early, and that's only because of Saturday morning cartoons. Because I like trained my body to, and now I can't stop. Yep, Kirsten, I got me a breakfast burrito. My first one in what 15 months, as everyone likes to say. Hmm. Joe, what's up? Thank you, Tiffany. I really appreciate it. We try to have just, we just like to have fun, honestly. I'm glad people like to have fun with us.
only thing better than this view is I like the only reason I like older carnival ships is because you get to sit by the window, like you get to sit on the deck and listen to the water while you eat breakfast. I was like sitting inside, but it's still a really nice view. Um, Steve, yes, um, we need to go on an oasis class because I've never been and I really want to go on one. What can't you do on the Wi Fi from the ship? I don't know. I've, I mean, I've uploaded a video. Um, Laura checked her work stuff and it worked. I don't know, but the Wi-Fi is pretty clutch here. Like it's pretty fast, which is a nice thing because of adventure it was so slow. So like the Wi-Fi is le like legit. So if you're willing to work from the ship, I recommend getting the Wi-Fi. I just talked about the Wi-Fi and it goes out. <laughs> um, Harmony of the Seas, yes. I wish I can go on that one. That sounds awesome. I think the next, like the first mega ship, unless we change our minds, the first mega ship would be Symphony of the Seas on the Griffinless um, group group cruise. So if you guys want to join that, make sure you hit up Griffinless or hit up Rose or whatever, whoever they need it, you need to contact. Yeah, my yeah, I just talked about the Wi-Fi and it, how great it was, and it went out on me. Oh, the roller coaster's going right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, the rumble. Steve, did you are we invited? Can we come on the on the oasis in December? Yeah, I know. I drink it, Ali. I'm never talking about the Wi-Fi ever again on this shit. And I was giving it credit too. Do you guys want to go see like i think they're running it right now do you guys want to go see the the bolt in action i'm not going to get on it and i can't take it sucks they won't let me take my camera on the bolt but i can show you it running i think i think it's still running right now or starting to run right now okay <clears throat> I still have a taco, but I'm gonna walk around with it. Alright, let me take it. Um, yes, I can, but in the, in let me know after you guys watch the vlog today if you still want me to do like Alec, if you still want me to do that footage because you can see like where we get on and where we get off in the vlog today when we rode the boat bolt yesterday okay so i'm walking through the dining room everyone's looking at me because i'm like just talking to my phone but we're gonna i'm gonna go up the stairs to the boat and see if i can get some footage of it running Oh, a two-bedroom suite. Nice. <clears throat> Next, I want to get a suite because the suites on this ship is really are really nice. But we're only done balconies, so maybe one day we can get a suite. So we have cereal over here, and then Big Chick, Mr. Big Chicken, has breakfast over here. Walking up. Sorry if the camera is just shaky, but this is the, like one of the infinity pools, and we're going upstairs to the bolt. But there's no one out here, so oh crap! Don't blow my burrito away. <laughs> I forgot how windy it is sometimes. All right, almost there. One more, one more level. You guys can see the track right there, though. Oh yes, those fries were the best thing I've ever had on a ship. Like even Laura said that, like I couldn't stop raving about them. 
All right. So this is the whole like water park area. And you guys can hear that bell ringing. That means the bucket's about to tip over. Hold on, wait for it. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna see if, the, if people are getting on the boat right now. Or they're just doing test runs. Oh, there's two people on it. See them? See them up there? Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna um, track them as they come around to do this loop. All right, they should be coming by any time now. Let's see. So I know this is kind of a boring shot because nothing's happening. Oh, you're on the horizon next week. Oh, happy, well, happy early birthday. Come on. Where are you guys? Here they go. And that was the bolt. Oh, there's another one. They never do back to back this fast. Yesterday they were doing really slow. But there you guys go, that's the bolt. Oh my God. It's so windy up here. I'm gonna see if I can like find a little place to set off. But yes, it is $17. Hey Mary. Um, there's like a little sign for it. And then they have like a little, a test car. If you see, wanna see if you can fit in it and stuff, right there. But yeah, you literally just walk over here and sign up on the app. Hey, sign up on the app or sign up on, on the pad they have there and you can ride it. So it's that simple. Sorry if it's really windy. I need to go down to another deck or something. Or maybe I can sit in one of these coves and I can just look out. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in one of these little cove things over here. Yeah, hey Addy and Terry. All right. Am I like Griffin and Alyssa now since they do live streams in these things? I see why, it's really comfortable. <laughs> But no, we're just looking out at the water right now. And then I just came from down there and the bolt's like right there. You guys see the track. Uh, let's see. I'm horny in January. And I'm trying to get the hubby to book this ship for, se for us this September. Do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. You're gonna have, you'll have fun, Vanessa. Addie and Terry, I've been up since 2 a.m. editing the vlog. That's coming out on uh, on at 11 o'clock today. Um, Juja Joe, 17. Where'd you see 17 dollars? It was 15 yesterday. Wait, did the sign say 15? The sign say 17? Because we paid 15 yesterday. 16 days to Alaska. I am jealous, Mary. I want to go back to Alaska so bad. Nice, congratulations, Daddy and Terry. Oh, you guys can hear the bolt, it's so loud. <laughs> Hit 1K, get lit. That's nice. Um, I don't think they have an IMAX theater on here. Oh, I mentioned 17, I probably misspoke then. It's, fifth, it's, sorry, it's $15 per person. And I think it might cover two rides. Um. I think that's what people say, it covers two rides, but I'm pretty sure it covers only one. Hey, 
Hey, Patrick. Well, I don't have a wife. She's my girlfriend, but I oh, know it doesn't bother me. No, we haven't thought about doing a group cruise because we just feel like we're not big enough to do a group cruise. It'd be fun. I mean, it would be fun to do like a joint group cruise with AK and um, Griff and Alyssa and all them. Like, it'd be really fun to do a group, like a whole big vlogger group cruise. I'll be down for that. Yeah, I messed up. I misspoke. Sorry. It's $15 for the bowl. Hey, Angie, good morning. Oh, a BTB on the, I mean, BTB on the Mardi Gras this year, too. Wow. You're going all out this year. I guess because, um, I guess because cruising's back. So, I mean, might as well. I'm glad Beach in Texas got my joke. It's all love here. All love here. Good morning, Jill. Um, so, we're just, I'm just like literally just watching people walk by and then looking at the sea. And then the ropes course is like right there. The screen at the on the Lido deck is actually like really big, so that's where they I believe that's where they play movies at. Yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. And I'll go check them out. Cause I have nothing else to do until I have to be there for the premiere. But I mean, yeah, if you guys have any other questions about the ship, you wanna see early before we put it in the vlog or anything like that. I mean, uh, oh look, there's someone doing the ropes course actually. I want to do that. Um, I want to do. Is that? I think that's. It. I think that's the plank, right there. We can like walk. Yeah, you can like walk out over the water, or it looks like you walk over the water. I think someone else is coming. Here they come. Here they come. You ready? Oh, they stops. I can't remember what happens when that happens because I've seen someone do that before. But they also get stopped and then they come back around. Let's see. Both the vloggers are get extravaganza on. We might. I mean, we just. I mean, obviously everyone's going, so I guess we should too. It's just the one out of New Orleans, right, Mary? There's the blogger, the the vlogger extravaganza cruise. Um, Miss Beautiful Laura is sleeping. She had a late night with J.J. Cruz, AK Adventures. Well, at least. Um, Kyra, she had a late night, so this thing is so loud. <laughs> um, so she's out, she's sleeping it off right now. Can you show us the cakes on Lido at lunch? Yes, but I probably won't be on at that time. I might, if I can, if I can figure it out, you might have to look at our Instagram to see it. Yeah, let me move away from this place because. The bolt is super loud. You can hear it. Oh crap. You can hear it in the cafeteria. I mean not cafeteria, not cafeteria. You can hear it in the buffet area. And it just like makes the it makes the like tables kind of vibrate. I enjoy watching both of y'all. We sail carnival one time. We've Yeah, I need to get I wanna get on more um Royal Caribbean ships because I just I just fell in love. I get uh all right, so we're gonna go. Oh crap! So windy. You can see the like the papers are flying. Like you cannot beat this view. Oh, I've seen this view. Oh, there's a little set off over here underneath the stairs. I didn't even know that. And they have tables. I can put my food on it. The little things. Yeah. Uh, Yes, no wind. Okay, so yeah, Mary, it is in New Orleans. Okay, yeah, I have to talk to Laura about that. Cause I wouldn't mind doing that. Cause we're, I mean, we're like all friends now. I finally met Sharon at sea, um, Friday. Yeah, Friday. So, Nassau. Um, since we did a venture of the seats out of Nassau, we, we were both considering, well, a lot of us actually on this cruise were considering just like not getting off the ship because like we had to fly to Nassau to take a cruise from Nassau and it's just like, we've been there already. But if Senior Frogs is open, 
your boy will be there. I promise you that. I will be getting your drink because I, as you guys know from the last vlog series, I was on the hunt for um, Senior Frogs to get a yard drink and I, none of them were open except for Cozumel. Cozumel, we did the dolphin and we did, and it rained out so we couldn't do it. I thought you were friends with us, Angie. We're not friends? Oh, nice. Yes, I met Sharon. Um, Faber introduced me to Sharon when we did the, the um, sneak peek preview tour of the Mardi Gras on Friday. Is the casino on this ship bigger than the... Oh my gosh. Oh, the casino on this ship? Huge. It's like... They go, okay, it's, I would say it's like they have one casino, regular casino, whatever like that. And they were just like, you know what? Let's copy and paste this and put it next to each other. And that's what they did. It's like double the size. There's so many machines, so many tables. And like we were walking through it last night, like me, Laura, and um, Kyra, and, um, Jojo, Aaron, um, Kyle. Like we were just like, this thing, this place is big. So yes, the casino is huge. Um, let's see, where's, oh, there it is. I'm just gonna, no. Oh, Reggie, nice. You're gonna enjoy the Mardi Gras. I think it's uh, really, really nice. October and it won't be as hot because like when we got on the ship they didn't have the AC on and it was just like everyone was just like it's sweating and kind of miserable until we start moving but now we have like breeze and AC and all that okay well Angie I mean if you want to Jackie I'm glad I was able to offer you that the thing about those vlogs, like, not vlogs, those things about those videos is me and Laura like to like watch YouTube videos of like um, cruise room tours and stuff just so we can see like what the room looks like. But sometimes we don't like to like listen to people talk for 10 minutes about a certain thing. So even though like some of our friends do that, we love watching their content, but sometimes I just want to like see it and then be done with it. So like the idea for ARC for those videos were just like, go in show you stuff you can pause the video if you want to see some stuff but we can just go in see it quick tour and be done with it but i'm glad it helped you i'm glad you were able to see what it actually looked like other than just 3d renderings see how the smoking versus non-smoking casino um it was weird when we walked into the mary it was weird to see the, um walk into the casino yesterday and it didn't smell like smoke it smelled like brand new like i don't know how to explain brand new but it just smelled new um there is a smoke section. It was kind of like, like thick. Like we walked through, and I was like, "Oh, geez, it smells like smoke in here." But for the most part, the casino smells pretty legit. I was at Cocoa Beach with my family on Friday. It was a beautiful day in Canaveral. See you later. Have fun at church. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, hopefully, hopefully it does get better. It will get better. It always gets better. Even though it might take some time, it always gets better. Oh, the XL Force. I'm jealous. I want the XL Force suite so bad. It was so, so, so nice. It's just so much room. Thank you, Patrick. I'm glad you guys liked the tours. It's. I'm just, I was just like, yo, let's just throw it out there. You don't have to need all the detail. Just get, go in and look. Just have a, if you want a detail, look at someone else's video. But here, just get a little taste, a little little sample of what you might expect, how how many outlets there are and stuff like that. And then just call it a day. That new casino smell. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. It's going to be a fun cruise. Yes. Yes, it is. I, if you guys are interested in some MSC material, Griffin and Lester are going to be on there next week, unless they're on this ship right now that I don't know of, and he's watching from one of his cabins on this ship. But they're going to be on MSC next, starting next Monday, 
So make sure you check out their lives and all the content from there because I'm interested to see what MSC is about because I haven't been on that. Did y'all finally meet up with JJ Cruz last night? I was trying to get y'all together. Yes, we did meet up with JJ Cruz. Um, it was around 10 or 11 in the Grand Central. And then I had to, I went to sleep because me and Aaron went to sleep, but I went to sleep um, because I had been up since three o'clock yesterday morning. And so Laura and JJ and Kyra and all them had a fun night out and Laura didn't get back till late. So she's sleeping right now, but they had a really fun time. But now we, uh, we saw JJ um, finally. It took, it took all day, but we did. They're 30 minutes behind. <laughs> oh, Tony's going to be on MC too. Oh, that should be fun. I love when, when we met Tony on Adventure. He's the he's like a perfect person. He's so nice, so sweet, so caring. It was amazing. Yes, USB outlets, finally. Fin like, it's 2021, honey. Like, why, aren't, why don't you have USBs? Like, USB ports. And also, it's weird that this ship doesn't have a library, but it, that's kind of like changing for the times because it's 2021. No one really goes to a library anymore. When you dock, can you do a quick video of Casino? You know what, Jamie? Let me, hold on. Let me take a bite of this burrito and you guys can watch this, the, what, the thing. And I'm going to go down and see if I can actually walk through the casino for you guys. How about that? Last bite. All right, Jackie, sorry, get it off my lips. Laura and I have a cold balcony. And it's fire. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna see if I can go down to the, the casino right now, actually, and um, show you guys. Oh, here's a pool. You can see people are already at the pool. I don't know how people, I don't know how people can be in the hot tub right now because it's so hot out here right now. Not about that life. All right, let's go check out the casino. Let's see, we are right here. We're right here. And the casino is, I don't know, I don't see the casino. It's, I know it's somewhere, oh, there it is, Mardi Gras Casino. So I need to go down from, I need to go from 17 to seven. Yeah, I'm gonna take the elevator. Let's see the comments. Sorry, I missed them. Um, Jackie. Uh, oh, no, I already answered that. Co balconies. I keep secretly. Oh. Well, a good morning, Mardi Gras. Sorry, family. hold on. I hope y'all had a wonderful evening on board and get ready for a fun filled day on our beautiful flagship. As you can see outside, the weather is lovely. We're on our way to our first destination, and this morning, I'm going to give you a little rundown of some of the big things happening around our ship. Now, the shops, as you all know, are located on decks six. Oh, seven, we're so and loud! Eight. I'm trying to and talk to you. Guys. Make sure you stop by the Evie Boutique oh. for your free Hi. gift. Yes, a two hundred dollar voucher, good as cash, for every guest that stops by the Evie Boutique. Valid until five p.m. today. 
And as well as that, we got our free diamond earrings with every purchase in the Envy Boutique. So come along, our shops are located on deck six, seven, and eight for all six, your seven, shopping eight. goodness. Now come out for morning time. Oh, I like it. I like it. Sure. Thank you. I have mine on. Too. <laughs> You win the beads. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. I, already, I already have a lot of beads already. I bought beads with me. Okay, because we, we brought them to give away. Okay, no. I already have a, two, I already have a lot of beads. Beads? 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 So it goes like there's more back here, but as you guys can see, you can't really. Oh, maybe you can. Oh yeah, you can. All right, so there's like a little room back here. You can just like walk in. But the majority of the casino is back here. And there's like these touch buttons to open up doors now. So we're doing. We walk through. And it's just like a big area. Yeah, I don't know what's what the difference is. Yes, you can hear the announcements in the cabin. But they have breakfast there. Like right there. And then there's the whole another side to the casino. So we just got out of one side. And now we're getting going into the whole second part where I was like it's copy and paste. And so like there's more slot machines over here. There's more over here. And there's even more. There's even more tables back there. So yeah, this this casino is huge. It's huge. I hate these doors. There you go. Casino is huge. And then we just come out and you are I always want to say Grand Atrium, but I know it's not that. Oh, look at that's a cool view. The Grand I can't remember this name. Central Grand Central, that's what it is. And then they have the big windows. With you can see the cruise just cruising. All right. Let me look at the comments. I miss the old bing bong bing announcement. Yes, I do too. The pool layout's throwing me. The Red Ramar being below the big screen. Um, no, it's, it's two. Jackie, it's two levels. So it's not really below, it's right next to. Um, let's see. Sorry, just catching up on the comments. You can hear the cruise, the announcements everywhere on the ship and they're so loud. Um, yeah, I don't know why they have big sliding doors in the casino. Like it wasn't didn't smell smoky or anything different, so I don't know why it was like two different like two different small areas. Oh, I didn't mean to push that. Uh, do you have to press the buttons for the doors, or is they censored? So it's weird because some of them are sensors, but they all have like the little buttons. So. Like these, like these little, I don't know where the closest one is. I guess the closest one would be like on the lead up, but there's like these little like buttons in the middle of the door to like, sometimes you have to push them to get them to open. And it's kind of annoying because it kind of like stops your progress. So it's, yeah, it's a, that's one of the things I do not like about this ship is that it just doesn't automatically open. Uh, no problem, Jamie. The Grand Central, aka the non-Grand Atrium, is is so beautiful. Yes, especially when they have the 
I'm like pointing at it, you can't even see it. Especially when it has like the screens, cause like you can see the big screens right here. And then there's more in the floor right here. And there's, they just ride up on these conveyors or tr tracks or whatever it is. And it just fills the whole thing. But when you don't need them, you have a big window. I think it's like a, she's at like 30 fo foot window. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Grand Central, Grand Central. I got to remember that Grand Central. Cause it's just like, it just seems reminds me of an atrium. Um, the doors and casino are part of keeping the smoke in, I think. So maybe, maybe that's it, Mary, but like I didn't, in the little part I showed you guys, I didn't smell any smoke at all. And then didn't smell any smoke when I walked out of it. So I don't know why, maybe, maybe they haven't incorporated it yet, but. I'm surprised about the door button, especially it's, yes, I know. I'm gonna see if I can find one because there's, they're like the bane of my existence, honestly. Maybe I can find one up here. Oh, right. Oh, and then we're, you know what? I just want to show you around the ship. So I'm walking upstairs. This is the third level of Grand Central. See all the lights. Honestly, the second level has the best seating if you ever come on a ship. Second level, the little seating area, like down there where I was, best seating. This is nice, but I feel like it's a little too high. The fane of your existence, yes. <laughs> hey, Tyrone, so yes, we have two sea dates. We have today and tomorrow we're going to be at sea. Um, so here's one of the sensor buttons. This is the big one. But you can see, you just put your hand there and it opens up the door. But we, we, here we have, let me go, no, it's this way. So we have sushi over here. They're pre-making all the stuff. Then we have some shops. And then over here, we have some photos. And get all your pictures and stuff. More photos, more photos. No problem, Jackie. I know I would want to see the same thing. And then we're going into the town here. It's almost like hot here. Like it's a little kind of warm. And there's a coffee bar in the Italian area. All right, so these are the other buttons. They're like little small buttons that have walking on them. And you have to like push it to open the door. Oh, it's hot in here. And then you have to push this again to open the door. It's like a little sit-off area over here, but it's kind of it's kind of annoying because sometimes they don't open. And you just like you're pushing it and it just doesn't open. But once you like once you've been on the ship for a while, you get like you kind of get the feel of how they do it, and you can like push it nicely, and it'll open up. But sometimes they open up. Yeah, see how the doors opening up, and I'm so close to it, I gotta push the button. Thank you, Emily. I really appreciate it. I just, one of the things, I, you probably weren't here earlier. But one of the things that Laura likes is just to like get in and get out type of like, just watch videos and understand why. I mean, I'm not understanding why, but it's not like, like listen to someone, they just want to see something about the cabin or anything. So we're just like, hey, let's make some quick videos. People can get in and out, get the idea of the cabin and call it a day. <laughs> I'm gonna reach my step goal again, yeah. Let's see. All right, so let's see, what's over here? I think this is where we were last night. It's guest services. 
it's on, I think, I can't remember what deck we're on. Dex, uh, I don't remember. Uh, but just remember, guest services is by Pig and Anchor. And then we have the breweries. And then this is where we were last night for dinner. And then back here by Pig and Anchor, you have more of these stupid buttons. You have the patio, which is an infinity pool, which looks out on like the back of the pool, infinity, but also looks out in the back of the ship where it keeps the trail because everyone loves the trail. So yeah, that's one of the one of the thing the nice parts about the ship is just like being on the back. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting the camera's right there. Being on the back and like seeing the ship. Like seeing this scene. I wish I can just like set a GoPro up and like see just like watch that all day. They have hand sanitizer on the boat, but I've noticed that they don't really they don't really um, insist on using the hand sanitizer. They just have them, just to have, just to say they have it. So, just be cautious about that, people. I rarely see people use the hand sanitizer, to be honest with you. But it's there if you need it. Um, I would, since it is 9.43 and people are probably up there by maybe 3 o'clock, I mean not 3 o'clock, 8 o'clock, I would recommend getting up there early to those stations, sure. Um, Tammy, yes, there are wash stations at the buffet. They're kind of hidden off. You don't really see them. Um, let's see. I can see if I'm, if I'm close to it, I can go down and show you guys the buffet area and the hand wash station. But they're kind of like in the cut and you don't really see them so it's kind of like it's like it's like they they meet the quota and have it but they really don't emphasize it if that makes sense same here angie i carry my own hand sanitizer there's no one making each other there's no one making anybody wash their hands nobody no washy-washy. Nope. All right, so we're on deck seven. We're down by the main dining room. Oh, crap, I gotta go up again. Oop, there's the one right there. Uh, let's go to, let's go to the Lido. No washy-washy. Yeah, it's, Carn like I feel like Carnival was, they're um, they're awesome, but I also feel like they kind of rushed into it because they want to start making money again. Like we all took the precautions, they make sure you guys are cool. Carnival was just, we literally have no god like we can do whatever we want and no one says anything. The the the, the workers have to wear the crew has to wear masks, but not nobody on uh, anyone that's a, anyone that's a passenger or a passenger don't have to wear anything all right let me see so we're coming around here we're coming into the buffet area and it's like okay all right let me do the whole walk thing walking thing all right so look at those people they just walk by and they're going to, not washing their hands and so you walk in to the buffet area cool 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 the hand wash station's right here did you guys see that like, there's no, you don't see it. Like, you just walk by it. It's right here. Like, yes, they have one, but at the same time, you don't, you don't see anything. So like, you're never gonna wash your hands. And like, people are like, I'm gonna walk by a station, but like, people are serving themselves. And 
people are serving themselves and um, they really don't, like you don't know if they wash their hands or not before touching the, the, the utensils. So yet so pretty much as we were told by someone that was amazing, you might as you, you better off washing your hands after before you start eating and after you get your food. Let's see if I can walk. Did I miss all of them? Hold on. So yeah, if you guys can see, he, well, the omelet the station, they still make it, but like, people are still like serving themselves. And there's still utensils. Yeah. Long lines, everything. And then there's some station, hand sanitizing stations right there, but I mean, you guys can see that no one, everyone's just walking around the hand sanitizing station and not ever using it. So yeah, that's what that is. So hopefully that helps give you an idea. And then here's another hand washing station, but no one's ever using it. So yeah, that's what it's like. I mean, we're all vaccinated, don't get me wrong, but it just, it'll be nice to have some precautions. So I don't want to make this into like the virus thing, but yeah. Yeah, so did, um, so did Adventure. They made us wash our hands and stuff like that. But so far, yep. Yeah, so that's why I think it's more of Carnival was, it's just ready to get back into it and not really, like doing the bare minimum, let's say that. But yeah, that's, if you guys wanna see anything else, let me know. But if not, I'm gonna head back to the room and see and pretty much bother Laura. <laughs> but no, for real though, um, that's, that's what it's like. I might get bad service by the way, um, cause I'm going into the middle of the ship. But Jesus, so many decks on this ship. Yeah, Drew, go for it. The internet's amazing. From, oh crap, I'm not supposed to say that. Yes, the internet seems to work a lot better than my previous cruise, let's say that. Yeah, right? Look, live? Hey, look, it's Kyle hey, Pala. Where'd what's you come from? Uh, I went to the gym, I was like, yeah, there's too many people, so then yeah. I decided not to go, I'm gonna go eat. All right, well, how fun. It's, a little, it's, a, it's kind of a lot of people in there. Oh, is it really? Yeah, I would just go to like Blue Iguana or something like that. I want to get the buffet so bad. Okay, well, you can try it. It's just, yeah. We just walked through it. Well, I just walked through it and it's packed. yeah. Just a little heads up, but I'll see you later. Of the seas, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, so you guys don't know, that's Kyle Palo. He is a big Disney vlogger, but also a friend, but also a big Disney vlogger. Um, and he's on the ship because we met him on Adventure and he was just like, hey, come on this ship with us. And there he is. <laughs> I wish these, I wish these were like touchscreen but they're not, cause like I have to like wait till they reload. Especially if I like want a map or anything to see where I am. So, don't, don't get me wrong. I like this ship. I like Royal and stuff like that. It's just some things weren't, aren't ha being handled properly, if that makes sense. And then one last walk through. Good morning. Good morning. That's one last walk through the uh, Grand Atrium. Oh, here we are. Here's a map. Excuse me.
Oh, I know I need to show you. I'm gonna show you Chebang and then I'm gonna get off. And then possibly get back on later when um, we are um, in possibly sea day brunch. But thank you, ooh, 51 likes, thank you guys. If you haven't liked this video, make sure you do like it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe for more content of the Mardi Gras. Yes, we are gonna eat at Shebang. We ate it. Um, a couple of us ate there for media day and it was actually like pretty good, but we wanna see what the full menu's like because they only had tapas. Um, so we'll see. Bring Laura some coffee. I don't think she needs coffee right now. I think she's still trying to sleep off her hangover. But I guess that might help. All right, everyone keeps saying get coffee for Laura. But yeah, this is Chabong. Thank you, Tammy. And if you guys, I'm gonna just do a little quick of the menu. Let me make sure my lens is clean. Do a quick of the menu. Yes, I am having a good time. Good morning, Special K, what's up? And you guys can come back to this menu and like pause the video or whatever. But yeah, that's the menu. Portra bong. And they have a hand sanitizer thing right outside. How much extra is that restaurant? It's actually free for our sailing and maybe a couple other sailings after us. But it's free. Most of the restaurants here are free other than like the big ones, like the steakhouse and stuff. Ooh, January's gonna be a fun time to cruise. It's gonna be nice and cool outside. But I am having a good time. I just wanna, I don't want your expectations to be high about like, the main thing I don't want your expectations to be high about how they're handling COVID protocols and all that but yeah <laughs> yeah I got a free couple of weeks I got it a free couple weeks ago they had one day promotion what of our ports um, we're going to San Juan Amber Cove and Nassau and then the rest of the days are at sea here we go push a button again And then I'm now I'm back in the casino. Didn't mean to come back to the casino, but sometimes you just, you have to go into another place to get to another place. That makes sense. Like there was no stairs down to get to the next level where I was. So I had to walk through the casino to get to the next level. But yeah, they have some, another hand sanitizer right there, but it's kind of tucked off. Curtis Cruz said the same thing about um, Carnival and COVID. Yep, they're right. We're going to November. I'm scared of COVID will mess us up. I don't think so. I think um, I've literally thought that said hot topic. Um, oh, no, I don't want to go down there. There's too many people. Um, but no, it's it's uh, everyone's chilling in Grand Central. I don't think it I don't think it will mess everything up unless it gets like really really bad again. But I feel like cruises are pretty much set on sailing from the here on out. Um cookie, it wasn't actually as smoky as you think it is. It actually smells pretty fresh in the casino. <laughs> Alright Angie. This is a line to get coffee, so I don't think I'll be getting Laura any coffee right now. She since she's still trying to sleep. But yeah, that's the that's the line right there. No, Chebang is free. For at least for us, it's free. And I think for the next couple of sailings in August, I believe. Um, there's a few, Tracy, there's a few people wearing masks. There's a few, but I think it's because they might not be vaccinated, but there's like, I would say I've seen, out of the thousand or so people I've seen, I would say like five people wore masks. So, 
But yes, guys, thank you again for watching. I'm gonna get off and head back to the room and like chill and relax and see what Laura's, how Laura's feeling. But I really appreciate it. We're probably gonna go live again, hopefully in a couple hours, especially make sure you're there for the premiere of our video at 11 o'clock for our first boarding day video. And if you're nice enough, go ahead and like it already because you know it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fire. Um, but no, go check out our video at 11 o'clock. It's premiering on YouTube. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you later today, hopefully. That's the plan, later today. Anyway, guys, thank you, bye. And...